Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to start a dropshipping business with only $100. And the reason behind that is me, myself, I started with $100 almost. And back in, uh, like back then, I couldn't find a video that was relevant to my situation. So like how to start a dropshipping business with $100. And I understand that at the beginning when you start, you don't have that much of a money. So you're scared to invest your money and lose the money that you already got. But hopefully in this video, you can get some help and just get more chance in having a success with your first or second or third Shopify store. So without further ado, let's just hop on the content. Okay guys, so in today's video, I'm going to find the winning product, build the store, make the video ads and launch the ads all transparent so you can see and be with me in every step. So hopefully you will get a little bit more insight. Okay guys, so as you can see here, we are in my Facebook feed and in today's video, I'm going to share, find a winning product by just scrolling in the Facebook by the method that I teach you in my previous video, which is how to find a winning product and the reason behind that is I understand that some of you maybe don't want to invest or like don't have a money to put on drop spy or ad spy in order to make the process a little bit easier but this process that I'm showing you here this method is very easy and the only thing you need to do is what I'm going to teach you here so guys all you have to do for this method is to open this and copy this code in here which I will put uh, down below in the description you can co uh, copy and uh, yeah copy this code in here and just scroll down in your uh, scroll down in your Facebook feed and you can see all the ads that I can find in here like everything here is in ads and the reason behind this that I use this method that I'm going to currently teach you here so for this method in order for this method to work you have to have this extension called my ad finder as you can see in here and basically what you will do is just find the ad that you want to do in the niche you just search it in here after you find the ad you go to the website and you click on shop now well for example let me just yeah we say we go here we click on shop now and we see the website in here you can see their pixel events so you click on add to cart button you go to view cart and then we go in here and after that when you're in here guys you right click and then you go inspect and then you will come to console and you, you will copy paste this code in here and the product price is 129 so we put like another extra 100 here and please uh, ha have your focus here as well you can see there is two three events in here currently two events and after i paste this code okay this is currently lagging i'm sorry so okay i'm going to test it again after you paste the code in here okay okay guys so all you have to do is to find the ad in here and for example, we say this ad in here that have 11,000 likes, you can see the website here. Okay, this is the website. And then you can see they have Snapchat pixel and TikTok pixel. It means that that's work for them as well. And that's no wonder because the product is for younger demographics. So we add the cart here. After that, checkout. So you can see here there are six events, seven events that have been fired at the moment. Initiate checkout in here. So all you need to do is right click here, go to console. And after that, you copy and paste this product here. And the, the price is around 39, we say. And uh, have, a, have a look here. It's seven like events. And after you paste this, it's going to be eight events. So what you did here is you fired the purchase event on this website. So Facebook sees you as engaged shopper at the moment for this product. So Facebook will see you lookalikes of this product or another winning product that you may be interested in. So after that, you just close down the website, guys. You come to your Facebook feed, you just refresh. And after that, you just give it a second. And as you can see here, all the ads start to popping up on my feed guys and just I don't need to find any method I don't need to pay to any like website or membership everything is free here and I don't believe that it will take uh, much as uh, much as your time as well here okay guys so as you can see here now my Facebook ads is full of uh, like video ads and this is like uh, basically free method that you can use and which is most effective method by far that I have known because with this method you don't need to pay any subscription or any Anything. all you need to do is uh, purchase a couple of products with the method that I teach you and after that Facebook just shows you the product this is cost effective this is like time efficient and you just you just save so much time and you will see the products that have too many likes you know already been selling now so you just, just take it in some other country in Europe that I've been teaching like in this 
entire YouTube channel and just basically start selling it there guys. So right now I'm just going to scroll my Facebook feed to find the winning products. Okay guys, so after like doing this 10 minutes of research, I just stumbled upon this product as you can see in here. That's this page we have been up since 2020 and there's too many people in the page as well. You can see in Philippines, India, China, Thailand, Hong Kong, Vietnam. And you can see here, so there's a couple of people, maybe customer service and stuff. You can see here 28 ads, two ads, two ads. Uh, 28 13 12 ads 7 ads 13 ads 12 ads and you can see that they are scaling this product guys and you can see you can say that but how many active ads that they are so if the product didn't work they wouldn't do this you can see they are just doing this product and you can see here their website which is very bad guys like this website like this is rainbow session here yeah, like it remembers me of my childhood <laughs> look at this picture like if they can scale this product with this like you can scale it to the moon if you do the website better, you know, and you don't need to even make that after the change. Like you can just make the same kind of website in another country and just take their ads, just make the letter a little bit different. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm not going to take the website like to a professional looking. I'm just going to take a website to a look that even a newbie dropshipper, like a newbie beginner with not, not knowledge of any theme can do. Like that's so manageable. And after that, as you can see, this is the website and this is their ad library, guys. So I'm going to choose this product and in the next two to three hours, I'm going to make a website. Okay guys, as you can see, here is the store that I make and this store going to be like completely transparent so you guys can check it whenever you want to. As you can see here, the language is in Swedish and yeah guys, so basically this is a store that I did and you can see it's completely branded like yeah, it looks much better than that and it's basically very simple website and very fast and simple website as you can see here. There's still some minor changes that I have to do. And you can see this is the pictures that I put. I only put one color in here as well. You can see, and I'm selling only one color as well, which is transparent color, which everybody can relate to. I'm going to buy. And you can see this is a store, guys. This looks very clean and basically very branded, you know. And after that, we have some small reviews and we come down here and that's it guys and guys another key method is if you are selling to europe especially in sweden or norway another country you have to have this payment method which is klarna because nobody going to buy if you don't have this payment method guys and um, guys basically so this is the website and now i'm going to do the video ads okay guys so here we are at the ads manager so as you can see here we have to choose the pixel and the right perch event for the for optimization and here we have the daily budget of 20 euros but i will put 15 euros since uh, the our selling price is low and 50 euro will be more than enough and the date of the launch will be always 3 a.m the and like um, day after the day you are launching and after we scroll down the location for this product i choose sweden since you know the website is in swedish and the age range i believe it's better to put it around um, 13 to 65 since it's furniture and mostly uh, old people are buying this and i got this from the ad that i showed you recently most of the comments were old people and gender will be all since like both men and women were commenting on the video as well um, okay guys so after this after we put both men and women we come down below which is detailed targeting and in detail targeting since i'm selling a product for furniture i just write down a word furniture and then choose that only because that's the most re relatable I believe but that yeah and then we can see here that the audience size is 5.3 million which is not true because in the ad accounts now as you may know at expand in uh, expand interest or expand audience or expand local access is mandatory so always Facebook will expand your audiences and that's good uh, both a good and bad uh, if you look like it and after that we come down here guys you can see in here we have manual placement mobile and the reason I'm doing this because if the when you're in testing or prospecting campaign if the ad or ad set doesn't work in the Facebook newsfeed or Instagram feed it doesn't like worth testing in the automatic placement since we have a low budget here and we don't have any pixel data we have to show the Facebook way like we say okay you have to spend our money here to get the best results and after we get the results that we want to we can scale it and put like automatic placement and even then I'm not putting automatic placement I'm only putting um, 
manual placement i'm just excluding messenger because people in messenger just go to text each other you know they don't want to see your ad i only use messenger in retargeting and guys here you can click on only when connected to wi-fi as well if you are selling a high ticket but if you're selling a low ticket doesn't matter and the reason behind that is i don't believe that someone will purchase a 50 dollar product in a bus and guys please here make sure that your attribution setting is like this seven day okay guys so now 24 hours like is over and we have spent around 50 50 dollars i believe no 47 dollars on facebook ads and now i'm going to show you the results okay guys as you can see here we are in the ad account and this is a abo campaign that i've been running with uh, for this uh, for this website and you can see here i'm targeting three interests in interior design modern furniture and furniture and you can see here something you notice the way i write things because when you're scaling it's all about how organized you are so i always write the date beside of the interest to in order to know how many days it have run and to make my decisions and if you can notice here we have all of them in the like same audience size because i'm using i'm going to just show it to you here we are using always expand interest on and in some of the ad um, ad accounts it's mandatory now as you can see here in this ad account is mandatory and in some of our ad accounts it's not mandatory so uh, in my experience in one of my ad accounts i have uh, expand audiences like mandatory like i cannot choose to turn it off or on on a lookalike audiences but in here i cannot do it for um interest targeting audiences and in some of them you can do both and in some ads manager you can you cannot do both so facebook is still trying to fresh that in all of the in all of the websites guys and uh, creatives i'm going to show them to you soon and as you can see in here and the results we can see here if you have a cpms of almost 16 euros and this is really pretty good for the first day of them running and i can show you the date they have run as well and you can see here if you have unique city of about three percent and click through of 2.7 which is great for like this is the first day we're running this and after that you can see it have not tracked anything because i have a developer in place to like do the tracking and everything since i don't know this product is working or not and like i'm doing this with only hundred dollars here and so this is not in my good interest to spend that money on tracking like to make sure that everything is tracked even uh, after like uh, when i don't even know that the website is working for me or not guys so as you can see here we spent 40 42 euros which is around 48 dollars and got back basically nothing but you can see here how long i've been launching a date created is 13 october here so let me just show you the shopify store okay guys so as you can see here we're in the shopify store and we basically did it as you can see here we have three orders in place and just like at the beginning of the day like in the in my experience in the mornings i get most of the purchase and i thought like okay i didn't get any purchase so this is not probably going to work and i'm going to embarrass myself but after that i got some purchases and you can see here I got three purchases and uh, Shopify is updating today so it's, I, I don't believe it's tracking and for some of the people that say maybe these are draft orders I'm going to just show you the orders and you can see there is no draft orders here guys and I have to also blur these names here because the name of the customers but as you can see here we got three orders of the value of 1,100 uh, 1, kronos Swedish kronos which is around uh, which is around 110 dollars or something like that and so i'm going to count the roas for you today and give you the product price and everything because we are in this business and we are all after that profit guys so we can see the kpi sheet here that i have so guys the average order value is 44 dollars for this store today based on today so what i did here is i just copied this uh, 383 crowns and i just come here basically and i just put that number here as you can uh, see here 40 44.8 dollars and you can see and after that we have average cost of goods for me for this product which is two dollars guys like because this product is so low cost and you can see the margins of this and after that, i'm going to show you the product here in aliexpress so you can see here this um, supplier that we are using here is uh, giving like um, 3.8 dollars for 
20 pieces but in our website as you can see here we are offering we are offering four pieces and ten pieces so most of the people bought only four pieces so and the cost plus like fast shipping is two dollars otherwise i would have like 1.0.9 cost per product including shipping but customers are very important and we always put the customers first even though we have like lower margins that doesn't matter like if the customers are happy your business will grow automatically guys so as you can see in here we have walked down to 100 and we have around 40 42 euros in spend so i'm going to translate this for you as well we say 42 which is 48 dollars and then we have 1551 so i put that here as well so you can see here 132 dollars so i'm going to i'm going to calculate this for you to show you my ROAS. so we say that i spend and this i believe i should put this in euros i'm sorry guys so because everything is in euro here no 48 okay 132 you can see in here $48 so the ROAS of today is 2.7 here and if you look at our KPI here guys you can see here the profit margin for 30% ROAS is 1.6 like and this is like basically average so but basically if you put that for 50% we have 2.36 but we have 2.7 almost 2.8 so we go up to 70% and yeah that is too much but basically we go to 60 you can see we are almost at 60 percent so i'd say we are around 55 percent profit yeah exactly 55 to 58 percent profit margin and that is only guys on the first day of running this store as and you can see here i just showed you my proven method which is always works and i have not even spent the hundred dollars yet like i spent only half of that guys and you can see here the product and the pricing I have we have shown in here is uh, basically very like simple website mostly for all the people design like to just make everything easy and you can see here I'm selling like four pieces for 299 crowns which is absolutely insane and 10 pieces for 399 but people still buy it because the website looks branded you know and it looks very clean and the ads are good as well and guys on that case i'm going to just show you the ads in here as well you can see in here the ads we have four creative but basically they have all like same three second and the um different three second and the rest is kind of same so i'm just going to show you one of them in here yeah this is kind of lagging i believe okay so sorry guys i'm back we had a little bit of problem there so i guess just solved and you can see in here the ads i'm going to expand this here and just zoom in a little bit so we can see it better so we can see here this is the ad and this is the thumbnail i'm just going to lower it for you and you basically can see here this is the same ad basically that those are we're running i only added the logo stuff but this is a kind of product that don't need kind of that explanation so you don't need to like make it you know kind of busy with the text and all of that other stuff you know it just ex this ad basically is very simple ad that explains everything and that's why it just perfectly works you know it's 20 second and like the shorter ad the better because if people watch your all of, almost all of the video facebook will show your people to better like to more people with the lower cost so that is just more profit for you guys okay guys so that's it for today's video and as you can see here i didn't even spend hundred dollars i spent only fifty dollars and i got the first save we got back like 60 percent profit margin like and basically this is crazy and you saw in the like facebook metrics and everything was good and basically with this proven method that i'm teaching in this channel you will find success if you put a little bit of time and like do your research and due diligence in what country are you going to do but if you have my recommendation you can basically just do a similar like um product to this and just do it in sweden because sweden very hot country right now i recommend you guys all to advertise there as well and in this week's giveaway guys i'm going to give away this store with the pixel and everything and also i'm going to give away a hundred euro credit in the ad account that you're going to use from my facebook rep so all you have to do in order to get this guys you need to comment down below ecom 2021 and smash that like button and see you in the next video